It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Nerd Brewing Open Source Beer 2019 Implements Imperial Chocolate Truffle Stout Coconut and Chili Edition. Uh, it's 10% ABV, 70 IBUs, 330 bottle, and it was sent by the wonderful, wonderful Hakan from Sweden. Uh, it was recycling day. And my daughter got hold of the paperwork, my map. She got hold of my map, and she she chucked the map in the recycling. Um, so I was stuck. So I thought to myself, uh, this I think was beer number eight. I think this was. Um, um, Hack and drew me a lovely map of where these beers were positioned on the map, um, so I could see where it's from in Sweden. But I can't do that with this beer, so I apologise. Um, without further ado, it's got a wax top. On it, so I'm gonna have to get the knife out, do a little bit of cutting here. My bottle open, I've just checked just before the review started. My bottle, oof, careful. Yeah, it won't, uh, it won't catch. I feel like John Rambo, but, but without the technique. Um, right, let's see if that'll work. Nah. Right, this should, this should work. Oh, look at that! I'm so close! Right. Ha ha! We did it! Right, beer in the glass. I like to do these things, it's not very often you get a wax topped beer so i thought to myself oh look at this have a listen first i'll shut up have a listen that looks tremendous absolutely absolutely tremendous we got a two finger tan colored head Jet black beer in the glass, good levels of carbonation. Look as I rock that beer back and forth. You can just see wonderful, wonderful looking beer. Carbonation chasing the head. Beautiful tan colored, chocolate colored head. Um, as I was quickly saying, no, I will finish it. Um, it's not often you get wax top beer. So, I mean, I'm sure you didn't mind. You could bear with me cutting away at the, the top to get to the beer. Nice anticipation for what we now have in the glass. That looks tremendous. The body on the beer looks incredible. Wait, what do they call it? Chocolate truffle, imperial chocolate truffle stout, coconut and chili edition. Another chili beer from Sweden. Aroma. I said it in the last one. I said it, I, I got sent a chili beer that went a little bit viral on YouTube because I think I stuck my nose in the beer and I went, yeah, that smells okay. It's not too, it's not too chili like. And then I and then I had a sip and it like nearly caught fire to my throat. And the internet seemed to like that. Um, lots of coconut, lots of vanilla, lots of chocolate. A lot of sweetness in there. Hopefully that sweetness will balance the chilli. There is a menacing, menacing aroma of chilli. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Bliss. Absolute Wonderful, wonderful bliss. 
oh, that is so rich and lovely, and I feel like I'm I'm in an orchestra, and I and I'm and I'm playing the. What am I doing? Uh, I'm doing that thing that you know you you tell the man over there to do something, and then you tell the man over there to do something. Um, oh, this is just amazing! What a beer! Chocolate, coffee, caramel, rich. Bitter finish on the back end. You get that IBU, that 70 IBU, definitely comes through. Lots of rich coconut, rich chocolate. Truffle, I mean, that word truffle for me is rich. Truffle really means rich, you know, a really rich kind of flavor. Oh my goodness me. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. This is magnificent. It's, it's like driving an open top Ferrari in Monaco. Oh, or on a winding Italian road. It's just perfection. Sweetness versus bitterness on the back end. The balance of the beer is just tremendous. Rich sweetness, bitter back end. And that's coming from two things. That's coming from the hops they've added to the beer, of course. A little bit of bitter in hops. And of course, the roasted malt that they've added to the beer. I wouldn't be surprised if they've added oats and maybe some touch of lactose or something to, to really kind of fatten up the beer, to, to get it rich and, and lovely like. <coughs> Pardon me. And if you think of the flavours, the coconuts and the chocolate and the coffee and the caramel, if the beer was thin and watery, it wouldn't work, would it? It needs to be big and fat and engine oil like, like this to be able to work. If you think of chocolate is thick, coffee is generally, a latte is quite thick, caramel is drippy and sweet and thick, yeah? Coconuts are solid. So, I, I, but I suppose that's creamy in its own right. If you, if you get a can of coconut milk from, and make a Thai curry, that's got a nice thick bowl consistency to it, haven't it? That's wonderful. And the chilli. The chilli, just, it's a little, it's like having a massage. It's like having a nice massage in a no, I'm going to say that. It's like having a nice massage, and it's just nice. It works. It's just a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of pepperiness. Uh, it, it, it all works. It's all singing in tune together. It's lovely. It's it's really really lovely. Uh, and it's all in. It's all in Swedish, so we can't speak about the ingredients on that thing, but I really, I, that's a fabulous beer. That's a fabulous beer, and um, that's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.